Hey guys, Carpet White Tea here today with War History Live, and today we have a special video prepared for you. And today is the Operation Urgent Fury, 1983, or the Invasion of Granada. Today we're going to explain brief history and what happened, and then after this we're going to go over gear on what they used, also what the Navy used, paratroopers used, and then you guys will see what is fully equipped. I don't have black boots, and I don't have the maybe one woodland pants yet, but this is for what I got so far. But, let's get started. So, the operation of Urgent Fury was 1983 from October 25th, 29th, which is four days. Main goal was to restore Granada's government. Now, they had some problems going ahead, um, ahead of them, and they had 600 U.S. medical students were in a facility down there studying, uh, I guess part of their school down there at that time, I don't know, but they were studying, and that became a problem later. But, um, so what it was is that there was a communist down here, there was a civil strike from Granada, and there's a communist movement as well. So, tons of stuff like that. Fidel Castro was aiding this, and stuff like that. The previous prime minister before 1979, I believe, was killed replaced. So, the movement was the People's Revolutionary Army, or no, the PRA. It has 1,500 Granadan soldiers were part of it. There's also volunteers, there were mil Granada military reserves, you know, etc. Stuff like that. Cuba also aided, and as weird as sounds, there were two Soviets uh, were killed in this. And they're basically almost like Soviet uh, paramilitary base at that time that went over there to aid them. So, uh, over and all, so what happened was, uh, so, Granada didn't also want to respond. They didn't want to, uh, Britain was responding to them. Britain and Canada actually designed a airport down there, okay? So, uh, and then when all this happened, of their government with the communist uprising. The Ronald Reagan administration, which Ronald Reagan was president at this time, um, decided that we're going to go basically invade them to restore the government. So, um, basically what happened at first, um, so when they're hearing that, the 600 U.S. medical students were captured. They had the whole place. The airport was locked down. Cuba sent their own troops, a few Soviet personnel, and all Granadans, uh, PRA, were all down there, okay. So, when that happened, um, they are preparing for the invasion. So the invasion started on October the 25th. What happened, it was the 75th Rangers, 82nd Airborne, the 2nd Combat Battalion of the U.S. Marines, and I think 15th or 5th, it was either one. Uh, the Marines were going down there. The Navy SEAL Team 6, Delta Force, uh, were going down there, okay? Number one objective was to capture the airport. So the airport down there uh, was just, it's why, I mean, it's a massive airport. If you redo your research, you can watch videos, real footage on this, you watch documentaries, look at the real map. The airport, the GI, the GAIA airport is what it's abbreviated for. I'm not too, it's like, General something international airport. It's something like that. But that's what it means in uh, abbreviations. So, the first objective was to take control of the airport. Uh, they're being sniped from the woods, you know, and the the PRA were equipped and the Cubans were equipped with Soviet personnel. So, SKSs, Mosin and Guns, PPSAs, PPSHs, uh, PPSs, PPS-43, PPS-41, AK-47s, AK AK-74s, I believe, RPGs, uh, Dragonov, you know, your iconic, most equipped Soviet weapons. So, they're fighting back and shooting back, and there's just different things. So, one of the Rangers um, got inside of a bulldozer, and where it's wide open, so he got in hotwired it, and they'd go back and forth, getting all those troops out. 
And actually, the first casualties was a downed helicopter. And it was shot down, actually. Um, and I think the pilot, the co-pilot, died, if I'm not mistaken. So, that crashed, everybody got out. You know, that was the first casualty, actually. So, while the battle was going on there, after the airport, when they cut control of the airport, they had air support landing in with supplies and more troops coming in. The Navy, the USS Guam, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, patrolling the boat. If it's not Guam, I'm sorry, I'll correct myself, but um, it was patrolling on the side, you know, making sure there's no helicopters and aircraft. Um, so after the airport was took over, um, two more objectives was to rescue the stu medical students and then to also uh, rescue Governor General um, it was Governor General Paul Schoon of Granada. Um, so when those two happened, basically, you know, the, and after all of this whole invasion and fighting stuff, the U.S. had 19 KIA and then had 114 wounded. Granada had 45 KIA, 358 wounded. Cuba had 24 KIA, 59 wounded. 638 captured or POW prisoner of war. Soviet Union had two wounded. That's it. Soviets had barely anybody there, but they did. So two ended up getting wounded. Um, so it only lasted four days. And at the end, they did restore Granada's government. So it's basically what happened. Um, so that's basically just a quick, brief overview of the history of it. And then we're going to go over some gear, and I'm going to demonstrate and put some of it on so I'll be right back, guys. All right. So what we have here. Uh, it's not too many items, guys. But we have my uh, late 70s. That one's Vietnam. Very late Vietnam dated uh, compass pouch. One of these is dated 90s. I know that. But everything else is late 70s, 80s, you know. So that will be replaced soon with 80s. And that will be uh, probably just left on now. So that's the webbing that they would wear. And uh, I'm missing the butt pouch, I'm missing the L flashlight, and right here, I um, I think I was going to get another one of these, honestly. So I have nine mags, but whatever. This is a M14 bandolier, the M14 mat, uh, gun. Uh, that was like $2, and I think for all this so far right now, I think I put about maybe 70 in it. And this one has a cup in it as well. Right here is actually pretty interesting. It's 83, and it's like January 83, so way before it all happened. So the use of this is a little bit of a possibility. Not really, but, you know, could have been. Um, but this is the parachute rig that, like, the Rangers, um, you know, Airborne would have used. So this is a Army one. So Airborne Rangers could have possibly used, you know. That's pretty neat, and I paid 40 for that. Oh, sorry, 25, I'm sorry, not 40. <laughs> um, this is, and if you watch my video with no comp, no audio, sorry, just it corrupted when it went through. But, part of the newest edition, this is the uh, 80s, early 80s setup. Uh, rear seam, swivel bell, M1 helmet. I haven't found any stampings yet. Um, it's cover, uh, repro cat eye band with waterproof matches and a original grenade pin. And then a complete liner, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. Chin strap. No. Uh, paid forty dollars for this one, like I said in the other video. Really good deal, honestly. This is an old one of mine. My first ever video. This was in it. Uh, this is a uh, M88 Pazgat, or no, the duck bill Kevlar helmet with the M81 woodland cover. This one is 80s, date 1981. Last but not least, this is my utility short sleeve uh, U.S. Navy Seabees jacket. And uh, the OD green uniforms were used in Granada as well, not just M81 Woodland. But Woodland was made primarily, but 
it was used, and this is dated, I think, 1982. I paid $5 for that one. But let's go ahead, and let's go ahead and demonstrate some gear. Alright. So this is just a, uh, kind of like a impression, basically, of what the, what the Rangers would have looked like. I know it's not the proper headband, paratrooper, liner, but this is what I can close this get to right now. But I got my uh, Alice webbing on. It's all the stuff I showed you before. Very basic. Um, and then over I have the 80s parachute. Which isn't a uh, question right now. But yeah. So I got the parachute right here. Kind of a back overview. Um, over and all, I mean, it's it's pretty good, pretty good gear. It's actually one of my favorite gears, actually. Um, yeah. So if you guys liked this video, got this far, thank you very much. Um, hope this kind of gave you a little bit of uh, some brief information on Granada and some of the U.S. gear. Um, if you like this, please do subscribe. If you've never been to this uh, channel before, check out all my other videos I have before, quite a bit. Um, I'll be posting more videos like this soon. Um, just when I get the time to do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you like these, these types of videos, please leave a like. That, that helps me, and that also helps me want to make more videos like this. Um, like I said, please do subscribe, please share. Share my channel for you guys, and I'll bring out more content like this. Um, I plan on doing, trying to do some events soon. Going to see some possibly like a Civil War reenactment or what. Um, different ideas, I have different things, I have like tons of planned out, collections growing every day, seems like, um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, thank you for watching this video, remember history guys, keep it alive, I'll see you guys soon.